For the first time in history, a woman will lead the Cincinnati Police Department. That's right. Today, CPD named Lieutenant Colonel Teresa Thiecci to the interim role as the city launches a nationwide search to replace retiring Chief Elliot Isaac. WCPO 9 News reporter Marielle Carbone following this announcement today. Marielle, what can we expect from this search? Well, this is going to be a long and thorough process with a lot of community engagement. So we're looking at maybe six months until the city has a new chief. Now, in the meantime, Lieutenant Colonel TG will lead the department. From the highest ranking female police officer. And I was hoping that I would have this opportunity. I'm excited, super, super honored. To now interim police chief, there's a lot to know about Lieutenant Colonel Teresa Thiege. I think I'm uh, multifaceted. I'm a wife, a mother, a grandmother. Um, my family is very, very important to me. My law enforcement family is very, very important to me. She'll take over as the head of the Cincinnati Police Department as the city launches a month long national search for the next police chief. Several weeks ago, in anticipation of his retirement, I began the process to conduct a national search for the next. According to interim city manager John Kerp, the city is currently considering two recruiting firms to lead the search. Once one is chosen, it'll begin an extensive community engagement process with citizens, businesses, the FOP, and more. Candidates will be interviewed and finalists will be brought to Cincinnati to speak in town hall forums. We are the national model for police community relations because of the collaborative agreement. It's going to be critically important for those finalists and ultimately the chief to understand that. In the meantime, I want the citizens of Cincinnati to rest that they are well in hand, that the principles and the work that we've done will continue. The EG says she's ready to get to work first with recruiting, but also one of my priorities right off the bat is going to be preparing for summer. You know, if the data tells us our summer is our busier months mm -hmm. for violence and gun violence in particular. So we need to come up with a plan. So we're looking at maybe late July, early August for when the city could actually make a hire. And Tanya and Craig, we asked the EG, are you planning to apply? She says she's taking things one day at a time right now, but never say never.